Hey guys, and what is up? My name is Annabelle, the Curvy Planner on Instagram, YouTube, and all of social media. And today I wanted to share with you all how I make like inserts for my planners. Um, I love creating my own thing. I'm trying to grab my planner so I can show you all, but I love creating my own dashboards and just things that I can insert in my planner. Like for example, something like this. Canva is a great tool and this is what I use to make these inserts. And I wanted to show you all how it is that I go about that. So here I have my computer. I figured this would be easier than doing um, a screen recording, honestly, because you can actually see my mouse and where it's going. So the first thing I'm going to open is Safari and I'm going to Canva. So again, Canva is a great tool. I love it so much. I do have the pro version of Canva just because I use it a lot for social media and business, but you don't need the, um, the pro tool, the pro plan to be able to even create designs. So um, the first thing that I do is go up here to the create design. Um, and then I select custom size, which is right here. And on the custom size, you can put in whatever size you need. So this right here, I believe that's a happy planner size. I can double check, but I can search for that. Um, let me go to Google and see if they have it here. Happy planner, classic size, um, which is a seven and nine Fourth, so that is exactly what that is. I almost died apparently I had a cough But then this is your design and you can make it bigger down here at the bottom You can make it larger or whatever it is that you need for like detail or anything like that Now there are templates on here. So let's let's say you wanted to create a daily planner so we search daily planner and then you have all of these options that you can select and use for personal use. Um, like I said, Canva is just such a great tool. I love it so much because of these templates. It's templates that somebody else put together for Canva and they're just so simple and easy to use. So say I wanted to use this one, I would just insert it and automatically just get sized up to fit my, um, my size project. So that's what that looks like. Like, how neat. So then um, you can even edit, say, you don't start your day at 6 to 7. You can change that. Just click it and edit the, the time. Um, say you don't want to have that and you just want to have affirmations. You can change that and, you know, customize it to make it your own. Um, the other thing that you can do, so let's go ahead and delete this entire template. We can actually just go ahead and insert another one. But um, let me search, say, November calendar. So I search for that, and then it gives me, like, calendars that I can already use. So this one's really cute, so we can just go and select this one, replace the current page, and look how adorable that is. And... Um, November did start on a Tuesday, so this is already set, um, and then I can remove that, but you can even say you wanted to use these dots to mark important dates. You can definitely do that as well, but if you don't need it, you can just delete it, and then you have the calendar for your planner, so that is so pretty. I love this so much, and again, you can customize it, make it your own, like if you wanted to replace this image, make it something else, you can do that as well, and you would do that by just simply selecting delete, and let's say we wanted to find some photos, so here on this section, you have a photo section, and let's look for, I don't know, fall, and look at these pumpkins, so I can select these pumpkins, and just go ahead and size it to fit, and let's make it go in the back, so send to back, and there it goes. And then you can even make it more transparent, so you would do that on this section. And then you can kind of change the color for this to pop a little bit more. So that is so cute. It's just so easy to use it. The possibilities are endless. Now, I really did like the original that I had, so I just went ahead and undid everything for it to go back 
to this um, but you can create really anything you would want um, what's another thing let's say like just a regular a regular weekly planner oh that's under um, photos but let's click under templates is where you'll find all the pre-made stuff so with weekly planner but they even have weekly planners on here like how freaking cool you can make it any color you can customize everything like this is so cute let's see like how cute is this like i actually want to print that out it doesn't have sunday which honestly i could see for somebody that maybe takes a sunday day off but you can easily add another box or split this one in half but i kind of like it as is Okay, I'm going to try to print this out. So what I would do is share, just download it, and then just download it normal. PNG is fine. So I would select download. I went ahead and download it. So here it is. And what I would select is a file. This is on a, on a MacBook. I can probably try to do it on a Windows. I don't have one, but I can try to figure it out to show you all. But this is what I would select. This is my printer, the Brother printer. And I'm going to select... Um, scale has to be 100%. So whatever you choose, say you wanted to do for a Happy Planner Mini, always select scale to 100%. And then I am going to select media quality to be best for myself just because this right here is in color. So I'm going to select print. And let me show you all what printer I have. Printing, so it may be a little loud, but this is the printer that I have. It's a Brother Printer MFC dash j805dw it's really good it prints in double side um it's a double sided printer and the ink like it doesn't use up a lot of ink so it's really good and i love it so much so i'm gonna go ahead and wait for that to print and then i will show you all how that turned out another thing that is really important to know is what kind of paper to use and this is the kind of paper that i use it's hp premium 32 it's 32 pound paper and it is pretty thick and i like that it is oh it's not focusing that it's a bright white um so let me lower my light but it is bright white so you can actually see the image pretty well and it looks really good in my planner so this is the paper that i use and i love it so much so let's wait for that to print and then we can cut it down to size and put it in our planner Okay, so here it is. It went ahead and printed, and look how pretty that looks. It looks so adorable. I just have this Friskas um, paper cutter. I'm not going to lie. I really need to get another a little um, blade, but for now, it still works, so I'm going to continue using it. And what I would do is always start from the opposite side, and since we sized it down to the size we needed, I just go ahead and go on the edges, cut it, Turn it around and I do just the same thing all around. It's just cut, cut, cut. Um, and then the sides, but like look how pretty it turned out. It looks so stinking adorable. So cut it. Okay, there it goes. So now we don't need this, and I'm gonna grab my um hole puncher this is a happy planner hole puncher i've had this for literally years so it really like if you make the investment once you really wouldn't need to again um because it's just it lasts a long time and it's pretty durable i would say it doesn't take a lot of pages so definitely only do a few at a time um see this is what i mean like i need to buy another paper cutter or like just the blade itself because it leaves some little shriveled up pieces there at the end but anyways okay so let's go ahead and just punch it and i always like to make sure that it's as centered as possible so there it goes put them off to the side and then here is my planner um this is a planner that i just started um but it's really cute. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in here. And look how perfect that looks. Like, how cute is that? Like, you can print, like, a 
like a monthly planner and maybe pre-plan or you can customize your own sheets like if you didn't want it to be just black and white you wanted something more colorful or you can just create your own it really doesn't matter like the possibilities are endless i did not fill out my planner for last week but it's okay it's fine <laughs> and i haven't even decorated this current week so i'm just putting myself out to putting myself out there but it's okay <laughs> anyways this is what it turned out like and i think it looks absolutely adorable um and this is just an easy way that you can customize your planner i do it a lot in my a6 planner so these are so i did do a flip through of this this is like a printable i did myself and there's a few here and there like this is a printable also so the possibilities are endless these are also printables but yeah, you know, you can do so many things to make your planner customized and your own and find things that you love and that make you excited. I know there's been a lot of changes to like planner setups lately that are more black and white and if you like more of a colorful vibe, this is a great route, a great way to go. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to watch more of my videos, please subscribe and I will talk to y'all next time. Bye.